So first of all, we the first year anniversary is super close of the JP version. And now we are getting 10 free uh, summons, a free multi every single day for 10 days. So let me do, do that multi right here. And as well, we got today a guaranteed SSR ticket that we're going to use. Okay, so we're going to do that and we're going to see the result. Leave a like, subscribe. Again, the rest of the video will be also super interesting. So keep on watching. And yeah, let me do this multi right here. Four, five, four days until new PC, please. I'm, I'm, I'm just like counting, counting, counting. Okay. So this is a free multi. Again, on the JP for 10 days straight, every single day a free multi. But this is not part of the Global Shaft, because the JP has an anniversary, okay? So it's a little bit different story. <laughs> so I won't complain in that direction. You're gonna see, I'll be pretty objective. And I believe I will, I'll be speaking only facts. I already done that uh, talking, so I already know what I will say. But I'll edit it like this, so this will go first and then the rest later on. Again, recollection beat, and again this one. Bro, this recollection beat has like a 100% chance to drop. Like, no joke. Like, no joke. Okay, and uh, now we have a guaranteed SR ticket. I believe here I can get both characters and recollection beats. So let's do that, let's do that as well. JP anniversary will be huge. It starts in uh, three days, by the way. Already the pre-celebration is looking nuts. It's looking nuts. Let's see who's gonna be again recollection beat. Bro, this is... I'm in a somewhat of a curse. Okay, I still didn't... Like, I'm saving my um, cubes on my free-to-play account for Utah. Almost 40k. But more I summon in this game. On the JP version, global other servers, more I'm scared. Okay, I'll end this first part here. All right, guys, for Kage Hero, and welcome back to the brand new video. Here we are, Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade will be the topic. On today's video, this is the video that I wanted to do for a while. And then I saw the video from Giku uh, today. And then I remembered, oh my god, I didn't talk about this. So shout out to Giku, I'll put his video in my description below and as a pinned comment, so check out his version. Uh, but pretty much uh, what I want to talk about on today's video, Global, in my opinion, got shafted okay global got shafted and i will tell you two main reasons why why i think global got shafted and for what reason i found i i concluded that global is getting shafted overall it's not about the events overall okay i'm not talking here about the events i'm not even talking about the fast pace of the banners this is something that i expected Honestly, because every time when we have a JP version of a game, like let we say it has like a half a year, two years, one year, and then global appears, they always, I mean always, in most cases, they want to catch up to JP as soon as possible. So yeah, it's a hard situation for the free to play, but if you watch my videos, my guides, you should be fine. No guarantee, because again, you will need that RNG help on Utah for sure. But there is two things that should have been implanted to global from the beginning. Two things. And then please, I will talk about this and tell me your opinions. Do you agree? Because of those two reasons, I really find that global is getting shafted. Because they, if they wanted to, they could have made the global launch much, much better and much more updated, okay? What they've done, they pretty much released global without of quality of life improvements that JP had, okay? Undoubt, until that point. If I, let me just uh, show you that different tab really quickly here. Uh, let me open the this tab right here. Okay, clearly here you can see what you can see here. Okay, so August 28th of 2024, they added uh, the they added certain really broken SSR units into standard banner. Okay, 
So from the 28th of August, JP version started to add certain new SSR characters in the standard banner. So for example, uh, there was a Megumi on the JP. You could get him only via exclusive banner. But now you can also get him in the standard banner. And pretty much every time when we get a new unit, it goes into standard banner. There are definitely certain exceptions. Like I'm certain that anniversary characters won't go back in the standard banner, only the reruns. Yuta doesn't go in the standard banner. Toji doesn't go in the standard banner. Yellow Gojo doesn't go in standard banner. But still units like Megumi, Purple Hollow Gojo, Red Titadori, Red Nobara, Blue Momo, they are they they all they all are added to the standard banner so this is what jp implanted let me say eight to ah it's about 10 months from the actual jp launch so what global should have done and they could they could have done it really easily and that's why i'm a little bit pissed with global for sure because i was certain they're gonna apply quality of life updates they made on the JP immediately on the global. But they didn't. Because what they could have done, uh, they, they dropped now Megumi on global, right? They could have said, okay, this character after the exclusive banner will go already immediately in the standard banner. The same goes for the unit before that. Okay, so they could easily, easily if they wanted to, if they wanted to make global more successful and more free to, not, more player base friendly, I would say it like this. They could have done it be because now Megumi immediately would go in the standard banner and the game would be so much better because then I would be able to use my silver tickets already now and maybe try to get Megumi. So this is the first thing why I think Global got shafted because they could have, they could easily, easily, easily um, add this immediately on Global. There is no way that Global will have to wait for, I don't know, eight months until this stuff is added. That's absolutely absurd. I truly believe that units getting back, units getting into standard banner will be will be a feature that will be really really soon implanted on global but it's actually a shame we need to wait for it this is something that should have been implanted immediately of course exclusive units like yuta toji um, and others i understand they are super exclusive units you need a rerun but those other units easily they could have implanted uh, that they move back into standard banner after their exclusive banner is over and in my opinion, this is something what Global should have done to, to, make our, to make the player base much more happier. And now there is a second thing what Global could have done immediately. So there is a pity on the JP version. I will explain to you guys how that pity works, although I've already done it a million times. But long story short, uh, in the store... Okay, I'll show you now. I'll show you now in the game. But in my opinion, since they cannot do actual proper pity, in my opinion, even this pity what they introduced on the JP, it's not the perfect solution. I'll, I'll explain everything. But it's somewhat of a pity. On global, you have to do 250 summons on that one single banner to reach that 100% pity. And if you don't do it, the PD won't transfer to, to another banner. So that's what they've done on the JP. They, they found a mechanic how you can transfer the PD to the next banner. So I'm going to explain how it works. But this is something, in my opinion, the second uh, reason why Global got shafted. In my opinion, Global should have gotten this immediately when it was launched immediately because in my opinion you do the you do the quality of life updates on jp so you make the global version immediately better from the start but they didn't do it they are greedy that is for certain they are greedy for 100 percent okay we're here now on the jp so let me explain to you guys how that pd works uh and why it should be implanted on global from the get-go because 
we would actually have a great chance uh, and just have somewhat of a safety when summoning things on global. Okay, long story short, you go again into the exchange shop right here. And for example, as you can see, I have 20 of those gotcha tickets. So how does it work? You summon on the banner, you summon on the banner, you summon on the banner. Uh, let we say you do 20 summons, you get 20 gacha points. But with 20 gacha points, you can buy 10 uh, gacha point chargers. That's how it's called. The 10 gacha point chargers, okay? Or 10 gacha tickets. Let me call them like that. So, for every 20 summons I do, I can get 10 of those uh, gacha tickets. And then with those tickets, I can go to some other banner and use those tickets as points. Okay? You see, you see, you see what's happening here? So, for example, let me say this is a Megumi banner. Just an example. You do 20 summons on Megumi. You know for a fact, you know for a fact you cannot do enough to reach that 250. And then you can use these gacha points to buy this gacha ticket. Okay, so for 20 summons I can buy 10 of those gacha tickets. And then I can go with 10 of those gacha tickets to another banner and use them as a point. Okay, so this is pretty much how it works. It's not ideal. It's not even perfect. Uh, but it's still something. It's still half of your points that you got gathered in certain banner. You can transfer it to another banners. Okay, still much better than what we have on global. On global, we cannot transfer pity at all. On the JP like this, you can actually transfer half of the pity um, for the next banner, etc., etc., etc. So you're literally, uh, you're literally grinding, uh, you literally could go banner by banner. So let me say this banner right here. You could go and do 40 summons, get 20 gacha tickets and just wait for another banner. And like this, you can literally gather enough of gacha tickets so you can actually buy something over time. Again, it's not ideal. It's only half pity transfer at the end of the day, but it's better half than nothing. So guys, this is pretty much my two main reasons why I think uh, Global got extremely shafted. Like they should have added immediately the quality of life update where certain SSR new units after their exclusive banner is gone, they are added in the standard banner. Uh, and as well, they should have added uh, those gacha transfer PD points already in this game. So at least if we get shafted on global, immediately we can transfer half uh, of the half of the gacha points we actually have done on the banner to the next one. So yeah, it would be just much better. Okay, guys, hope you did enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe. Your opinions in the comment section below. And yeah, see you next one. Bye.